Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the Sunday car boot haul video. Been a bit of a doozy day. Bit of, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit happy with today's haul. So, I'm just going to start with the nearest stuff. I got five Tweenies DVDs for, sorry, I think the, the camera is either focusing on Mary Berry or on this chap here. We'll take Mary Berry down in case she's uh, hogging the limelight. Maybe it'll focus on me. All about me, camera. All about me. <laughs> five Tweenies DVDs for a pound. I said to chap, how much are your DVDs? He said, oh, you can have four for a pound. I picked out five. I said, how much for five? And he said, oh, just give me a pound. So I was absolutely happy with that. There is one Tweenies DVD that if you find it, it's called something about Christmas. Green, got a green cover and it's totally Tweenies Christmas or something like that. Sells for about 30 odd quid if you find that one, but I've not found it today. I've got Animal Friends, Music is Papa Rooney, Messy Time, Let's Play and Nighttime Magic. Tweenies DVDs will sell for an average of five to seven pounds each. So very pleased with those at 20 pence each. That was, my, I think, one of my first pickups. That was my very first pickup, I think. And then I got these. The lady had um, some audiobooks there, and I'd never seen Alexander. I've never, not the, I say never seen. I had never picked up Alexander McCall Smith audiobooks before, but I noticed that they've got quite nice covers, quite nice covers that draw you in. And I thought, I wonder how much she wants for those. And I thought, if she says a pound each, maybe I'll just buy a couple and try them out. Well, there are five of the Alexander McCall Smiths, and she also had three John Grishams and a P.D. James. And as you can tell by the fact that I've got them all, she did not want a pound each. I said to her, she said, if you take them all, you can have them for two pound. I was like, OK, lovely. I will do that. If you find Alexander McCall Smith, the number one ladies detective agency, World of Books have sold that three times recently on eBay for hundred pounds. Three times they've sold it recently for £100.99p. £100 I've no idea why that was so desirable. These are also from the Ladies Detective Agency series, but um, they don't seem to sell for as much. But even so, these should be a safe tenner each. So there's five of those. I don't know how much for the John Grishams, but there's three of those. And funnily enough, I was two stalls away and she ran after me, said, oh, you've forgotten one, and gave me the PDJs. I hadn't even noticed it. So thank you very much to that lovely lady. She actually said the words, you're doing me a favour. So I thought, well, thank you very much, because you're definitely doing me one. I'm tempted to keep this because I love this. I think I saw this in a shop somewhere at some point and nearly bought it. It definitely resonated with me. I saw it at the car boot and I thought, I'm sure I've seen that before somewhere. It's a whale money bank. Um, the brand is Mud Pie made by Inesco um, and he has a stopper in the base and then a cork in the top and you pop your coins in through the top and I'm very tempted to keep him because I really like him but where would I put him? Where would I put him? I don't know whether I'm going to keep him or not but he is gorgeous, he was a pound, he was a pound and I couldn't look at his happy little smile, I couldn't leave him behind for a quid but I don't know whether I'll keep him or not, I don't know but I, I do like him and I managed to get him home without chipping him. I paid a pound for some Ikea Pistlers. <laughs> Pistlers are Ikea's version of hammer beads and I've got a little pile of the shapes so I'll make a bundle together and that'll go on soon. Somebody will want that for Christmas, for Stoppyville or whatever. I bought this for us. Look at this. I don't know. If, can I get the camera to focus without the reflection? There we go. It's just a little dog sitting at the beach looking off into the sea and the little dog just reminded me so much of Buddy. I'm not sure why because I think it's slightly larger than Buddy and it's got longer hair but just something about that little dog reminded me of Buddy so that's for us I paid two pounds for it and that'll go into our gallery <laughs> gallery which is basically the hallway. <laughs> our gallery darling we'll, we'll put that in the long gallery along with the, uh, the uh, family portraits. <laughs> I bought two Builder Bears and I've no idea why because I never buy Builder Bears. I know that some are worth having. He's got a squeezy paw but he's not saying anything so he must have been over squeezed. Somebody must have... This is... this one says Toy Story 4 on the bottom and he's in a unicorn hoodie. I don't know who this is from Toy Story 4 but there we go. So I've got a Toy Story 4 one and then I got a Halloween one which is a pumpkin one, he's got witchy feet, and he's in a Spider-Man costume. So, they were £2.50 each. Um, oh, I see, when I, I when I said he, he didn't do anything when I squeezed him, his, his face lit up, but I don't know if you can see it. Echo, office light off. Let's try this now. 
Did you see him light up a bit? I don't think you're getting the full joy, the full joy of it, but his face lights up when you squeeze his paw. Echo, office light on. Sorry, Echo's in the next room, that's why I have to bellow at her a bit. So I paid £2.50 each for those, so a fiver for the two. That's my filler bag, and it's pitiful, literally. My filler bag is one mug that Steve had on the table. It is a Kath Kidston crush mug. It does need some serious work on the inside, but that's not a problem. And then the actual filler bag is some pairs of earplugs that Anthony wanted. Just foam earplugs. A burrow for Kaiki, although I don't know where he is. I think he's, I think he's downstairs. One teddy to sell, which is a happy horse. Oh, you've got yourself tied up in a bit of string. There's some wool in there, can you tell? A happy horse, long-legged, wobbly thing. I don't even know what you are. Are you a horse? No, you're not a horse, are you with ears like that? It's a rabbit, isn't it? A rabbit or a hare or something. One of those. And then a couple of balls of wool from my mother. That was that was literally my entire filler bag, so three quid for that. Filler bag is a little bit a little bit um pitiful at the moment, but Kai will be pleased with his burr. Anthony will be pleased with his earplugs, and I'm very pleased with the mug. So three quid's fine. That's fine. I I didn't get a bag today. Can you tell I'm putting everything on the desk because I didn't get a bag? I always get a bag. Today's fail, in a way, is this Radley bag. How can a Radley bag be a fail? Because I paid £4 for it. It was a bit dark in the barn. I didn't inspect it before I bought it. I should have done. It is. It has suffered. It has been well loved. The base is grubby. The straps are a bit shredded. The inside of the bag is grubby. I'm going to put it through the washing machine. It's a leather bag. It's a leather bag, so you might be going, you're going to put leather through the washing machine. What's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is it comes out worse and it goes in the bin, but it costs £4, and I might be able to improve it. I have put leather bags through the washing machine before on just a quick wash and got away with it. The other option is scrubbing it by hand, and it's going to get wetter then than if I put it in the machine, isn't it? So, yeah, that might, that might, but yeah, so £4, that might be today's fail, unless she's left a tenner in one of the pockets, and I don't think she has. That would have made me so much happier. No, she's left me a little sugar packet in one of the pockets instead, which is not worth 10 quid. Sugar has not yet reached a premium price in the UK that is worth 10 quid for that much. A really nice pickup was this. This is a Pampered Chef stoneware muffin pan. I paid 50p and they sell for £25. It needs a bit of a scrub, get all pink stuff on it, clean it up. But yeah, 50p into 25 quid, I will take that any day of the week. And I paid two pounds for this thimble stand. It, oh, it's got, it comes with it comes with a cobweb, a free cobweb, free cobweb with every purchase. And now the cobweb won't let go of me. Two, four, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It holds forty-nine thimbles. Seven, sevens are forty-nine, aren't they? Yes, they are. It holds forty-nine thimbles. That's weird. Forty-nine is an odd number, but that's what it holds. It was two pounds. And then she said, oh, don't forget the thimbles, which I didn't really want, but I've got them as well. You never know. Maybe there's a thimble in there that's worth millions. But if there is, I'll never know about it because can't be asked to check. I'll just put them on as a job lot. Not sure how much I can expect for my thimble rack. Somebody sold one that holds 36 for 15 quid. Somebody sold, sold one that holds 59 for 20 pounds. So should be able to get 20 quid for it. I paid two. Quite happy with that. And then... Weirdly for me, I bought a stack of clothes at the Club Utsal. Gentleman, her, um, his his mum had passed on and he had cleared out her house and he said the amount of clothing that she had that was brand new with tags was absolutely unbelievable. So most of this, the reason I bought this, most of it is brand new with tags and it was 25 pence an item. The things that aren't brand new with tags first, I picked up these two Ed Hardy t-shirts. They've both got a little bit of staining. There's a stain on the shoulder of both of them where I think it must be like a coat hanger stain and they're a bit discoloured. But for 25p I thought I would take a chance on being able to get those clean. This one's also a bit discoloured around the neckline. Thought I'd take a chance on those at 25p a go and see if I can get those clean. And then there is a pair of snow camo and they will be for Anthony so they were 25p. And then the only other thing that hasn't got tags is this Rock and Revolution, is it? Rock and Revival? Rock and Revival jacket with camo patches. That's the only other thing that isn't new with tags. Everything else in this pile is brand new with tags. So I've got, And it's all plus size. That was the other thing I didn't mention. This is an M&Co 
brown velvet skirt, size 28, brand new with tags. This one is M & Co again, uh, £28 originally this one. What size are you? Linen blend, brown linen blend skirt in a size 26. With a little embroidered detail on there. That one's Peruna, I believe. Yeah, well, sorry, classic M&S. Originally £35, size 24, linen blend skirt. This one is only two at Sainsbury's, but it is brand new with tags and it is a size 20. That's a skirt again. That one's two at Sainsbury's. It is nightwear. It was £12 originally, brand new with tags. That's a size 24. A pair of Evans trousers. Apparently, these trousers will change your life, according to that. These trousers will change your life. Evans trousers, uh, new with the tag. They are a size. Where's the size label? They're a size 28. A two at Sainsbury's stripy jumper in a size 24, brand new with tags. A Peruna skirt, brand new with tags. And a pair of George plus size denim trousers, brand new with tags. 25 pence each. I don't normally buy clothing at the car boot unless it's really good brands. But for 25 pence each, brand new with tags, it would have been silly not to. Um, I paid £3 for the entire pile. One of those items would get me a tenner. Everything else is gravy. That's it. That is all of the haul. No, it's not. Oh my God, that's not it. I saved the best till last and nearly forgot to show you. These were one of the first things I saw. And I picked them up because I really liked them. When I got them home, I discovered I probably won't be keeping them. They are litho prints and I really think you're going to struggle. I'll probably put a picture and I'll take a nice picture and put a picture in here of what they look like so that you can see them properly. They are litho prints by an artist called Kay Boyce. Publication date September 2004. They are limited edition of 650 and these are number 325 of 650. Pastel four colour offset lithos, 10 by 8. They're mounted, they're not wonderful frames, but somebody's gone to the bother of framing them. They sell on eBay for about 90 quid each. £150 the pair, £160 the pair. I paid three quid. That is today's find of the day. I am so delighted. I really love them and I may keep them for a while and enjoy them myself before selling them on or I may just hang them while they're listed. I can, I can list them and then I can hang them in my house and enjoy them until they sell. I don't know but I love them so much. Like I said I will have put a photo in so you'll have seen them more clearly. I just think they're beautiful and when I got home and found out how much they were worth they became even more beautiful because that's I'm a mercenary cow. That's who I am. <laughs> That is the haul and all of the haul. I hope you've enjoyed it today. It is a small haul, but there is some quality stuff in there and there's some really good money makers, so I'm pleased with it. I don't know about my Toy Story bear. Apparently, my Blue Builder bear, naked, sells for 15 quid without his hoodie on. So, yeah, that's that's quite nice, isn't it? The Halloween one, again, will probably get 10 to 15. So, yeah, I'm really, really pleased. I'm really pleased with the audiobooks. I'm pleased with the Tweenies DVDs. I'm chuffed with the Pampered Chef pan. I'm delighted with my pictures. It's been a good haul today from my point of view. I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, I'll be back next week. Take care. Bye for now.